Welcome back to Utah's Exhilarating Ecosystems at Loveland Living Planet Aquarium. I am Leanna, your host for this episode where two experts will get us up close with a shy animal that makes its home on Utah's river banks, the North American River Otter. Today we're talking about how the aquarium is tracking the otter populations here in the Wasatch region. How this project came to be was I started working with the North American River Otters uh, about three years ago and I really fell in love with their species. I've uh, worked in conservation before this and really loved it so I wanted to see what we could do for them here in Utah to help out their population. We have really awesome volunteers to go out and set out cameras and do surveys. Um, we're doing the Provo River right now, um, just to see what the population numbers are like, what the ecosystems are like, um, and possibly how we can help them. So what we do when we go on survey is we have uh, trail cams that we have marked, and we'll walk along a designated area of the river, and we look for signs of wildlife, specifically otters. We look for tracks, latrines, slides going into the water, um, and then based on those facts, we um, set up the cameras, we uh, use what's called otter lure, which is just a really strong scent that if they're in the area, we'll get them to come over to our camera so that we can see the individuals that might be in the area. Uh, river otters were almost completely wiped out of the state by the early and 20th century. And starting in the 90s, the Division of Wildlife with a lot of partners did reintroduction work. So uh, we've got otters in many of the major rivers of the state now, the Colorado and the Green System especially. Um, we also done introductions in the Provo River and you know we're really looking to see how well those introductions have worked and where they've expanded to. You know if you're really lucky you get to see an otter splashing around and and swimming through the rivers up and down the banks. Other things you might see are there uh, scats along the sides of the river. they will have a lot of fish scales in them. And in muddy areas, you might also find a track. With this being such a new project, we've caught a lot of animals on our cameras, but we've not yet caught an otter. Um, some of the really fun ones that we've seen are blue heron, um, cougars, mink, uh, muskrats, lots of raccoons, um, but not, not otters yet, which, which is really important data for us to have because we have always had a very small population here in Utah um, and they're very elusive. So we believe through time we will find otters, but it's only been a few months, so we're not there yet. One of my favorite things that we've caught on camera so far is actually when an animal had knocked down one of our trail cams and Several days later, a fisherman came and put it back up for us. And because that fisherman put it back up for us, we caught a beaver, which is an indicator that otters are in the area. So catching that beaver was a huge deal, and we wouldn't have gotten that beaver had that fisherman not done that kind act um, of putting our camera back up. It's so important for us to know the population of the otters so that we can learn how we can help them because they have a small population. Um, and how the ecosystem is doing as a whole because they are an indicator species. River otters are sort of an indicator of uh, the health of our streams and our riverways. And well, river otters are at the top of the food chain in, in our river systems. So that means in order for them to live in an area, they need to have a healthy fish and cray or crayfish population for them to eat. And for order for that to be in place, the water needs to be abundant and clean. You know, knowing where otters can survive gives us a clue to how the conditions of our waterways are. One thing that we can do to help our native otter species is when we're hiking on trails or biking, we can be picking up trash um, along the way. Super easy to do and very, very helpful to keep that out of the waterways. Another thing we can do to help out river otter populations is water conservation. We need to have waters in our streams and rivers to have, allow otters to have a place to live. And also take care of those resources. Pack out what you pack in and um, pick up litter that you may see in the area. 
Another way that you can help out otters is coming to see our boys here. We have three North American River otters. They're triplet brothers, they're 12 years old. Um, coming to the aquarium definitely helps out our conservation project for this species in the wild. Today we got an inside look at our otter observation project and Brittany taught us how we can help maintain healthy rivers for our local otters. Stay tuned for our next episode of Utah's Exhilarating Ecosystems and follow along on our social media. In the meantime, we also encourage you to continue to explore, discover, and learn on your own adventures.